Wheat is great. You can use it for food, for breeding animals, and even for getting emeralds from villagers. So today, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to get wheat in Minecraft. So the basic idea for this farm is to have dispensers with redstone on it. You hit a button, water comes out, and the water can actually break crops and get the wheat in one centralized chest. Now this is the most basic level of this farm, but if you keep watching, we're gonna make a much more efficient one later. But for that basic farm, you will need some building blocks of any kind, some dispensers, some water, some redstone dust, a button, and of course, a hoe and some seeds. So simply take out your dispensers and place down however many you want in a row like this. I like five, but if you want to do more or less, it's up to you. Now on each side of that, put a block of your choice, then bring that down seven more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and of course on both sides. Next up, fill all these dispensers with a bucket of water. So for every dispenser you have, get one more bucket of water. Once all your water is inside here, take out your redstone, line the top of these dispensers, then on one side, up to you, bring the redstone all the way around, then at the very end of here, put down a button. Smack the button, does the water come out over one of this block? It does, check, check, and check. On to step number two. So press your button again, retract your water, and you're going to wanna make this all farmland here. But wait, you're gonna see these are gonna dry up because there's no water down yet. So take out some more water, and I like to go underneath my building blocks and just put like one piece of water down here, then just patch up the dirt again, and boom, do that on both sides. Easy hydration for your crops. Now once that's done, you can continue hoeing all your land here, make all these dirt blocks into farmland, and then obviously put your wheat seeds down. Now this is really obvious. You just hit the button when the crops are all grown and all the wheat breaks and goes right here to this layer here. But if you wanna have a more centralized chest like we talked about, take out a hopper and a chest. So what you can do now is put a chest one off this line of grass. Then on this grass, connect hoppers going into your chest on all five blocks or however many blocks you have here. And you're gonna see if we place anything down in any of these hoppers, they're all gonna go right into this chest. Now just to show it in real time, I'm gonna up the tick speed a ton. So let's go tick speed like 2000. Crops are gonna grow, go up really fast. That's a really cool looking thing right there, isn't it? Now when they're all grown or just about, I press the button, all the crops get flung into the hoppers or at least mostly and yeah, there you go. Slowly but surely going in. If you want to mitigate some of this loss, I recommend take some more blocks and just do this so the blocks can't actually like get flung as much. Maybe put your button like one more off the top too and put it right there. And additionally, you could even make these sides one taller. I don't really care because it's only a small amount of wheat getting lost, but if you really care, you could do this and put the redstone up top and it will still work fine. But yeah, enough of that. That's just a simple basic farm. We want to get a little bit more efficient here. So take out the same blocks I had you get earlier. Make the same exact farm, but do it like one higher in the air. So go up one, then start making your farm up here. Now obviously doing this, you need to place down your own grass so the water won't spill underneath. But the idea of this is we can layer this farm. Obviously on the side, you're gonna wanna trap your water a little bit to take out some more building blocks and do something a little bit like this. But the idea is now, when we hit a button right here, same thing happens, right? But what if, look at that, it goes down further. We can do the same exact design down here as well. Now it's a double farm. Now obviously doing this, you're gonna get more wheat, but you might need some more redstone because it has to go a lot further for the button. So maybe take out like a repeater just to extend the pulse a little bit. But if you just do something like this, put like one extra repeater over there, then bring the button down, whoopsies. Bring the button down a little bit more like so, and check it out. Wait, oh, had the repeater facing the wrong way. My bad, okay, let's try this again. Boom, oops, sorry, one more time, third time's a charm. Boom, there you see. You got two levels of wheat coming down, and once again, you could raise these up an extra block to avoid this loss, but the point is, 
a lot of wheat in one place. All right, so that is how you build it. Obviously, you could make it bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm not going to do this on camera because it's just going to take a long time. But you understand, this could be like 20 wheat farms stacked and stacked and stacked up into the sky. You could do whatever you want. But now here are some important tips and tricks for your wheat farm. Number one, if you're building this underground, take out some torches or get like a glass roof. You want lights for the crops to grow. So if you're not doing this outside, make sure you have light in here. In fact, you could even take out some glowstone and just replace some blocks and make it a little bit nicer looking. Now this farm is for wheat, but it also can be used for carrots or potatoes or even beets. I mean, you could even just mix and match all your crops into just one giant farm. I wouldn't want to do that, but I mean, you could do it that way if you really wanted. And here we have a luscious assortment of veggies of all kinds, all coming right into my wide open mouth. Now also, if you're going to use the hopper chest system that I taught you, you can stack this thing. So you could have this whole thing work where all the crops go inside your chest, but you also could dig underneath. You could put down a chest one block spaced underneath that and connect a hopper like so. Now any crops that go inside this chest will flow down to here first. You can have two chests automatically getting filled up. Now you could do this going as far down as you want. For the sake of me, I'm in a super flat, so I will die if I go down here. Dark and scary, I don't like it. But same thing with the whole farm. Both of these systems can go on as long as you want. Now if you're still watching this video, you must like me. So here's a treat for you. Disco break! That was just for you. Did you like that? But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.